What's up, Fendabenders? And today we are going to compare these two sets. Obi-Wan's Hut over here and the 2016 Moss Eisley Cantina. I mean, they're not really that close to comparisoning, guys. But if you want more in-depth reviews, please go check them out. Please go check out both. They will have reviews up once this video is out. So please go check them out because I'm not. I'm going to go very vaguely through them. And now let's just go to the minifigures of each one. Obi Wan's hut does include four minifigures, which is Obi Wan, Luke, R two D two, Tusken Raider, and then Mos Eisley Cantina does include eight minifigures: Obi Wan, Luke, Han Solo, Greedo, three Bith musicians. I'm missing a Bith musician and a Sand Trooper. Let me fix him and then let's go and start with these two we're going to start the ones who are similar in both sets we got two obi-wans we have a robed obi-wan and a non-robed obi-wan both are very solid i do like both of them neither of them have reversible heads it's pretty tough on this i like both of the minifigures the two luke's here i have an obvious favorite everything is exactly the same about them even what they're holding except for how the lightsaber is and this my size of the cantina Moss Eisley Cantina, it does tell you to put the lightsabers a different way, which is weird, but is the head. This head is terrible. This is the Obi-Wan's Hut head. Look at this terrible head. Ter terrible. Just terrible. And then, look at this nice Luke head. Like, it shows his age of, like, he's 18 or 20, about the time movie 4 is being filmed. And so, yeah, this is making him look like a little kid. This makes him look like, yeah, I'm ready to face the world or something. So, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Stay staying. So, yeah, out of the, these two minifigures, the Moss Eisley Cantina Luke does win in this case. And then the extras for Moss Eisley Cantina is a nice little Tusken Raider and R2-D2. Over here, these are the Moss Eisley ones. I'm just going to show you a little bit more close up on them. Han Solo, Greedo, three Moss Eisley Cantina, Bith Musicians, and a Sand Trooper, which is looking pretty dang nice. So, I would say about overall, out of these, obviously Moss Eisley Cantina includes eight. That includes three, four figures. But since that Luke and all that, I'm just going to say Moss Eisley Cantina gets the better minifigures. This is obviously the playability category. I'm going to fly through this. It's because I got a bunch to do and not much time. So yeah, playability. Obviously, there isn't much playability on the exterior here. But you can open this up and all that to get some nice playability. You do in this crate. There should also be a lightsaber, but Luke is holding it. There's one of those droid things that you block with a lightsaber. You can use R2-D2 to project Princess Leia. You have seats to sit in, you got some blue milk to drink, you got all the trinkets, you got the Tuscan Raider to fight, you got all of that stuff. The $30 set packs a punch. This set closes up once again, but includes a bunch more since it is $80. And let me just get this better view for you. It does include a Luke's Land Speeder for play. A do back. I mean, like, bunch of playability with that. You can open this up, play in there with some chairs. You got a sliding door. I am mean, just flying through this. You can open that up. You got some chairs to sit in. You can push that out. This is where the fifth musician sit. This is where they sit. And then you got a little counter for the bartender, which is probably one of the sadder things why they did not include one. Then you got out here in the back, you got a bone for your do back. You got this nice little moisturizer thing, I believe. And you got plenty of clips for things and all of that. Overall, the playability for this set, I mean, even includes eight minifigures. So playability also includes on minifigures. You got so much playability with the Cantina minifigures and all that because there's just more, more variety, more playing, more features than that. I was just going to say this, Moss Eisley Cantina just deserves it. It has a lot more playability. It deserves the point. So yeah, next is design. Yes, design. Start off the Cantina again with design. There is like zero design flaws in this. I mean, like this opens up nice easily. This opens up. This all smooths. 
the stuff right here pushes out with pure ease. And all of that, the door smoothly opens. I mean, not right now, but whatever. Closes up nicely. I'd say just these little gaps here because of the door. Well, actually, right here. You you can fill this up. Right here, you can fill this up. I would say that's what they should have done. Like, they should have filled this up with some sand bricks just so then it can flush over, maybe. Maybe even, like, fill up over this. Just maybe. So maybe that's one of the few design flaws. There is some gaps along here that does kind of ruin its display. But there really isn't much, much design flaws here. It's Cantina. This is obviously Obi-Wan's hut. Let's just go and open it up real quick. So in the interior, there's absolutely no design flaws here. Like, nothing will break off too easily. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could, like... Princess Leia. But... Yeah, nothing like falls apart easily except for the stuff that should come off easily. And so this set is extremely sturdy. Like you can just move it. You can just oh that stuff fell out. You can just drop it. It's extremely sturdy. It's not gonna break easily. And all of that. Just a few pieces will fall out because they're loosely in there. But that's that's on purpose and all that. It's not because of those reasons. And it looks extremely nice. Like how it just built. There's no like get random gaps in it and all that so i'm gonna give obi-wan's hut the nod to design just because it's slightly better and nicer oh there is a small gap right there but it's very unnoticeable uh, and let's go to display now next is display we're gonna start with obi-wan's hut since it's right in front of us but it's this the set is extremely displaying for 30 dollars you get a nice little display set here i mean even you can open it up and do all this, you can keep this down for even nicer little display, I guess. But open it up and just set those minifigures out and do this. It looks fairly decent on display, I would say, for the interior. Like, we're going to do interior, like, opening up and not opening up. For opening up, it looks pretty dang nice if you display those minifigures and people look in. And then once you close it up, people can look at it. They're like, oh, that's a nice little build over there. And all that, so very nicely displayable. Moss Eisley Canteen, on the hand, is terrible at displaying when closed up. It's not small space friendly. Once closed up, it's kind of... It's just something there. It's just a blob of bricks and all that. But once you open it up, once you do this, once you display those minifigures, it definitely gets that nice little feel and gives you that Tatooine. Tatooine, whatever. Gives you that nice feel and all that, and it displays fairly nice like this. But, sadly, out of these two, Obi-Wan's hut is way better, and it gets the win for the display. Next is value. Sorry that I'm kind of flying through this, but I do hope you do enjoy it. And if you want some good, just right over here, just a little reminder. There's two reviews for this for more in-depth and depth on whatever on them so yeah go check those out if you want to learn more about these sets let me get this little guy in okay let's begin value this is a 30 dollar set this is a 80 dollar set let me just talk through this obviously they're both pretty fair on their value four mini figure four figures for 30 dollars nice little set build very nice worth it's 30. you got over here eight mini figures obviously missing one but whatever a do back, a little side build, and you got a pretty decent build in the back in the back there. And I'll say one thing, back on the minifigures, the Bith musicians are exclusives. They're only in one other set, which is the UCS Moss Isaac Cantina, which is $350. So in comparison here, it is different. But these sets are very hard to pick. Which one's better for your value? And I would personally say, like this, I mean you you could say this with this logic, $10 per minifigure, this is like more, well, less actually. But, yeah, but I would, I'm personally stumped on which one's better for your value. Just because, like, $30 for this is pretty nice. $80 for this is very nice. So, I'm actually just going to tie them up, and my opinion will just let's decide the tiebreaker here. Because they're actually tied right now. Three to three, if you want to see over there. 
So yeah, now let's go to my opinion. On my opinion, this is also a very tough decision because I like both sets. But uh, in the end, I'm just going to pick one. I'm just going to have to pick one here. And that's what it's going to be in. There goes the Tuscanator. But anyway. So yeah, like I said, four minifigures, eight minifigures. Once again, I'm saying that. But which set do I personally like better? Like I said, that's a hard choice. But in the end, I think I've decided it just because of like down to this. This, you kind of need a little bit more to have more play with it. Because in the end, what you're really just going to play with is the Tuscan Raider and the little Princess Leia hologram with R2-D2. That's about it. There's not much else in this. While, like, over here, like I did say earlier, like, while over here, you have so much to do. Han Solo and Greedo fighting. You got the Sand Trooper to deal with Luke and Obi-Wan to talk with them. You got Bith Musicians who can even be added into the story and all of that. To equal a nice little mashup and all that it doesn't need like another set like personally another set that would go great with this would be luke's land speeder 2020 set that came out this year along with this set and all that it it's nicely i would say definitely had a lot more playability with this because it's like this scene before this scene happens in the movies and all of that so yeah personally the moss eyes of the cantina will be Getting my opinion check, and it will win overall to three the four Obi-Wan's hut with three and Cantina with four with the Obi-Wan's hut one with design, display, and value. Cantina one playability, mini figures, value, and my opinion, and all of that. So, yes, that's it for this comparison. If you want more in-depth on these, because I really didn't do much on it, I'm sorry that I blew through this, but obviously time and all that, go check out my reviews for each one and all that. If you did like this video, please hit that like button down below. And if you're not a fan of yet, all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button. We are the fastest growing car crash in America, and bye.